We opened up the Burger King app. We were gonna do one thing and we said, oh my God, they have a promo for the Angry Whopper is back? All time faves. I mean, give a quick monologue about how much you love the Angry Whopper. Infinite. Great monologue. So, we're going to order that now. I'm here. <laughs> cool. And we ordered at 11 11 a.m., so that's good luck. Do you ever make a wish on 11 11? Never. You're not one of those people? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're, really, that's weird. You don't strike me as somebody who wouldn't be all about that wow. random thing. Interesting that I give off that vibe. I need to change some things about myself, apparently. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you so much. Yeah, well, you have a great day. Have a good one. Thank you. Two. Brand spanking new. Heavy, oh baby. Angry Whoppers from Burger King have been acquired. You always hate when I yell it, so I'm gonna whisper it. Jump cut. How big a fan of the Angry Whopper are you? I miss the Angry Whopper more than I've ever missed a person. So we got a promotion one. I don't know if you guys have it in your town on the app. It's $3 for one of the Angry Whoppers, and then they only let you do one of them, so the second one was $5.79, so there's that for you. And then here's yours. Thank you. So you've had the Angry Whopper, you loved it. Did you ever have the angriest Whopper where they turned the bun red? I don't believe so. Okay. I've never had either, so I'm excited for this in general. <clears throat> I just hope it's the same. Yeah. Because who can... knows? It's, I mean, it's been eight years. It's no, adventurous. It's not... That's what it is. It's not that spicy. No. But that then one. again, I did not bite into a jalapeno, it's it turns today out. Today the day so. got released. No. Yep, today is the first day. It's now available. So Corey's uh, going to take us in for a second angle. Go for him. All right. Very beefy. Big old bun, sesame seed. Open her up. Some tomatoes. This is probably my favorite part is all these crispy onions in here. I love that. And then they got a sauce under there, some jalapenos, some mayonnaise up here, some lettuce, and some cheese. And that's basically that. Efficient, quick, and necessary. It's my tagline when I have second. This is a big boy, dude. It's big. They brought it back. This is the Angry Whopper from Burger King. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, I like that sauce. Me too. A little crunchy onion right out of the gates. I love that. The crunchy onions, you're right. Makes mm -hmm. it a completely different sandwich than yeah. what other people are doing. It's the number one part of the sandwich, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And you got the jalapenos with a nice kick. The flame broiled beef is just, man, I just love Burger King's meat so much. Mm hmm. Mm, this is pretty good. Damn good. This is holding up to my memories. Mm hmm. You see, in college, you'd have those. Exams coming up. I'm gonna be like, all right, bro, I'm about to be in the lab just do this studying for like 15 hours. When we take breaks, I go to McDonald's or uh, Burger King because it was the closest spot, and that's yeah. where I fell in love with this. Right. Yeah, I can see that. This is really, really good. And because their buns are really good and their beef is so thick, mm. it holds up all this stuff. This isn't yeah. soggy and like sloppy. It's a very well maintained Man, burger. Those crispy onions just so do it for me. Mm -hmm. Quarter pound of beef, thick cut bacon, American cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, crispy onion petals. Mm. I like that name. Jalapenos, creamy mayonnaise, and angry sauce. All layered between the sesame seed bun. It's back. The angry sauce, I think, is like spicy ketchup and barbecue sauce and mustard mixed yeah, together. Yeah, something. I don't know. It's good. It's really creamy and good. I, this is just everything that you would imagine I'd be about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like crispy onions, bacon, cheese, that sauce. I mean, it's, it's like as close to a perfect fast food burger as I can imagine. It's a great breakdown. Mm, my God. And they don't skimp on those uh, pedals. If you would have told me I woke up today and was going to be eating pedals, <laughs> I would have thought I would have got hit by a bike or something. So I was pedaling, I tripped, <laughs> biked into my mouth, teeth everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sean at the hospital. You ever take it off any sweet jumps? You got like three feet of air that time. Would have really put a jeopardy on wow. what we have going on this Saturday, by the way. We got a big boy event coming up Saturday. You in Toledo, you better come through and show your respect. There's two things that people in Toledo love. Us and us talking about ourselves in a video. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we've got our unemployable show on Saturday. We're so excited. Such a good team that we're working with. It's going to be so much fun. Come out to the summit, 8.30, watch us be funny. We're also bringing a bunch of number six with cheese merch. We're bringing brand new unemployables merch. 
pins, koozies, and t-shirts. Mm -hmm. You can meet us, take photos with us. Also, if you don't want to, you also don't have to take photos with us. You can just walk out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fun. I forgot that like this merch, essentially, it's like getting merch from us that isn't available online. So if you're in Toledo and you're a fan of number six with cheese, you can get something that's only available that one and only time, more or less. At least at this point. I mean, we hope to probably get it on the World Wide Web at some point, but. Right, you finished that whole thing. We got a long day work ahead. I'm not trying to eat half of this because I don't want to be full the rest of the day. I thought the same thing. Because usually I don't be eating everything. I'm trying to fill up. Wow. I'm going to be honest. I was nervous because, you know, you can build something up in your head for years. Right. And I've been talking about it for years. Right. You just never know. That could have easily been not that great. Dude, those freaking crispy petals and they just like really load them up on there. And they are really crispy. They're so crispy. It even made me like semi almost forget that there was amazing bacon in there too. Me too. So I've known you Dang. for years now. I've heard you talk about Angry Whoppers as your favorite thing forever. Yeah. And this is the very first time we've ever had one together. Yeah. That's kind of that's kind of wild. <laughs> sure shout out, sure shout out, sure shout out. Ooh, we did that fast. And huh? very on the same beat. Very. Sure shout Sure shout Sure shout People that bought shirts off our website. Corey, name number one. Aaron Aoun. I don't know how to say it. It's A-U-N-E Aoun. But I like the name, I think it's dope. And he bought a jump cut shirt, which I think is an awesome shirt. So thank you, Aaron. I respect you, and I think I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> and shout out number two goes to Clint Stevens. This looks like a job for Officer Clint Stevens. Clint, thank you so much for buying an Eat It Bitch shirt. That was our first ever shirt in the merch store, and it really brings me back to starting a business with this weirdo. Wow. So thank you for supporting this business with Ooh. this weirdo. <laughs> Number six with cheese.com if you want to get yourself something. But now we rate that angry whopper out of five. Who's a, who's a really angry celebrity? Oh, what about the guy who does kitchen stuff? Hell's Kitchen. What the fuck did you put in that sauce? It's like some fucking sci fi spur. Gordon Ramsay? Gordon Ramsay. Out of five, Gordon Ramsay's. How many Gordon Ramsay's do you give the angry whopper brought back in 2019, Corey? Bro, I gotta give that a five, dude. It held up every. I got bacon, I got a spicy sauce, and I got freaking fried onions. That's what I, I talk about that, those things all the time. Those are my, clearly my favorite thing. Right. Like, bro, five all day. I appreciate you, BK. Keep doing you. Here are a few of my favorites. How can you eat that? Thanks. And that price was pretty good. Even even the one that's like not, we got the discount one for three bucks. Is that was insane for three dollars? Yeah. But even five and some change, like the yeah. specialty burgers at all these places now seven are bucks. seven bucks. So that was a like for a specialty burger, surprisingly cheap. That was also a reason that I'm gonna give it um, a perfect score is because you're offering it. I can on the app get a three dollar burger that big. A lot of places don't do that. They're not bringing out things and offering them to you for cheaper. Yeah. Like like that. I'm giving that a five. Also, it's everything about it was perfect. It was. You said it in the beginning of the episode. This is the closest you can get to a perfect fast food burger. Yeah, I think so. God, I'm so happy right now. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode. We'll see you Saturday. There's going to be an episode tomorrow, but we'll see you Saturday at the live show in Toledo. We can't wait to perform for all you fools. Peace.